According to the CEO of American Defense Corporation, General Dynamics, Phoebe Novakovich, the construction of the lead vessel of Columbia-class submarine is expected to begin in late 2020. Speaking at the Baird Global Industrial Conference in Chicago on November 6, Novakovich said that the company has finished design work on the new nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine class. She added that the construction plans are 53 to 55% complete. Novakovich was quoted as saying by the Washington Business Journal, "The exact timing of a lot of this and that first boat, which will be on a cost plus contract basis, will depend on the contract that's yet to be negotiated. And our growth around that will have some nice incremental growth in 2021 and 2022, a little bit offset by our decline in engineering as we move from the engineering phase on Columbia into the construction phase." The Columbia class is being built by General Dynamics Electric Boat in Groton, Connecticut, and U.S. shipbuilder Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding Division in Virginia as part of a joint venture. Huntington Ingalls Industries held the first steel cutting ceremony at its Newport News Shipbuilding Division on May 23rd to mark the beginning of the advanced construction of the first of class boat. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the Columbia-class submarine will be the next superweapon of the U.S. military. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. America's ballistic missile submarines are the most survivable leg of its nuclear triad and are the biggest deterrent for its rival. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. Each of these carry 24 UGM-133A Trident II submarine launch ballistic missiles SLBM, built by Lockheed Martin Space Systems. The Trident II is multiple independently re-entry vehicle MIRV, capable and hence can carry multiple warheads, with each warhead being assigned to a different target. It can be configured with two types of MIRV. The Mark V MIRV can carry up to 144 W88 475 kiloton warheads, while the Mark IV MIRV having the ability to carry 14 W76 100 kiloton warheads. To give the viewer a perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. According to the plan, the 12 Columbia-class submarines will slowly replace the existing 14 Ohio-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The first Columbia-class submarines will cost $14.5 billion. This includes $5.1 billion as one-time research and development costs and $8.8 billion for construction. The total procurement cost for the SSBN class is estimated at over $100 billion. The lead SSBN of the Columbia class is expected to be delivered to the U.S. Navy by 2028. According to a May 2019 Congressional Research Report, after being delivered in fiscal year 2028, the lead boat would undergo substantial testing, with the aim of having it be ready for its first deterrent patrol in 2031. All 12 submarines are expected to be completed by 2042 and remain in service till 2085. The Columbia-class submarines will be the same length but a foot wider than the Ohio-class. Hence, they'll have slightly more displacement of 20,815 tons 
as compared to Ohio's 18,750 tons. Each submarine will have 16 missile tubes for 16 Trident D-5 missiles, which will be recycled from Ohio's. It's to be noted that Trident D-5 Life Extension Program is currently underway, which will enable them to be deployed until 2040. Now we'll go through five reasons which will make Columbia subs a superweapon. Ohio class needed its sonar transducers to be replaced every 10 years. This results in significant downtime. The Columbia class will utilize an enlarged version of Virginia class's large aperture bow array sonar. This large aperture bow array is water backed instead of being air backed with no dome and very small hydrophones able to last for the life of the ship. Hence, the Columbia class does not need to replace the sonar transducers every 10 years. Also, the performance of the sonar is much better, though the exact details are classified. Ohio class submarines reactors need midlife refueling. The nuclear reactor in Columbia will last the lifetime of the vessel. This means they will not require midlife refueling or maintenance. So they'll be spending more time in action and less time in docks. In terms of operations, the Columbia class submarines will be able to undertake more missions than the Ohio class they're replacing. With this improved reactor core, the 12 Columbia class will have the same sea presence as the current fleet of 14 Ohio ballistic missile submarines. Each submarine in the Columbia class is expected to carry out 124 deterrent patrols during its service life of 42 years. Ohio class has a mechanical drive system. The Columbia class will feature an electric drive propulsion system. In electric drive, an electric motor is used to turn the propeller of a vessel. An electric drive system is quieter than the mechanical system and is more cost-effective in the long run. Columbia will also utilize Virginia class's fly-by-wire joystick control system, making it easy to direct. This will come in handy, especially when making an evasive maneuver. It will have a state-of-the-art AI-enabled autopilot. The system will use algorithms to control the ship's rudder and the stern to maintain course and depth. The propulsion system will enable the submarine to sail at a speed of more than 20 knots and operate at a depth of 800 feet. Ohio has a relatively old communication system as compared to today's standards. For example, it still relies on periscopes. Columbia class will have no periscopes. The periscope will be replaced by a camera mast that continually relays images to onboard monitors. So the crew is aware of the vessel's surroundings all the time without needing to use the periscope at intermittent intervals. The Columbia class submarines will use Virginia class's next generation communication system. This is a major step up from Ohio. Columbia class will be outfitted with Submarine Warfare Federated Tactical System SWFTS, for integrating sonar, optical imaging and weapons control systems. Ohio class submarines are hard to detect and hence relevant even after being in service for so long. But things will change as rivals, especially Russia, is carrying extensive research into the next generation of attack submarines. Attack submarines are meant to take out ballistic missile submarines and surface vessels. Russia's latest Yasin class submarines are considered to be a worthy opponent by U.S. Navy commanders. To stay one step ahead, Columbia class will have extensive design improvement to make it even more silent when compared to Ohio class. The vessel will have advanced acoustic engineering to reduce its signature. New materials will be used for more effective damping of vibration from mechanical parts. The Columbia class will have water jet propulsion, making it quieter and enabling it to operate better in shallow water. The class will also have anechoic tiles from the Virginia class submarine. 
the tiles significantly reduce detection from active sonars. Overall, the vessels will be considerably harder to track when compared to Ohio class submarines. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.